All right, so for those who don't know, Heroku is a cloud platform. Um, I was going to do like a little short pres like a, a um, demo, but again, stranger computer, so it's not going to work out like that. So I'm just going to kind of talk about it. And uh, <coughs> um, basically, it, it's magic. It's really not, though. Uh, <laughs> um, essentially, um, what you, you do is you just work with Git, and um, it uh, supports several different languages. It started off in 2007 supporting Ruby, but now it supports Java, uh, Node.js, Scala, Clojure, Python, and PHP. Um, <coughs> I'm going to go ahead and leave this and just go to the website. Um, it's mostly known just for uh, one click, it's known to be one click deployment, and it really is quite simple. And the reason I like it so much is because as a new person, I find uh, everything to be a little bit out of reach. Sometimes I find that directions can be a little presumptuous, and um, <coughs> they seem to skip a lot, assuming that I you know, I've been doing it for 20 years, and so I just know. Um, but however, with Heroku, that's not the case at all. Um, their uh, directions, I wouldn't say are dumbed down, but they're very simple and very step-by-step. -step. Um, <coughs> but yeah. <coughs> Essentially, all you need uh, to work with Heroku is um, a free Heroku account, uh, a Java installed, and Maven 3. Um, <coughs> how Heroku knows that uh, you're working with Java is through uh, the Maven um, POM XML file. Um, <coughs> you, uh, sorry again, nervous. Uh, <laughs> so um, you essentially, when you have your own uh, project, you're going to want to, um <coughs> uh, I guess I'll just go and show you, let's see. You want to uh, declare like app dependencies in the POM XML file. Uh, you'll just want to add uh, extra whatevers to um, the artifact ID and <coughs> the group ID dependency group, whatever uh, <coughs> is associated with your uh, file or your, pro your project. Um, but yeah, the reason I like it, again, is as a new person, it does have a free option. Um, the free option is limited. Um, <coughs> within a 24-hour period, you have 18 hours of uptime. Um, <coughs> it doesn't force. It does force the six hours of downtime only if you don't ex you don't hit that six hour of downtime throughout the day. Essentially, um <coughs> within every hour, uh, if with uh, after 30 minutes of uh, uh, idle, or and I'm sorry, after 30 minutes of every. After 30 minutes of idle, it goes to sleep, and then it'll wake back up whenever someone goes to um, utilize your application. And again, this is only for the free option. The paid options do not go to sleep. But um, <coughs> so the first user that comes to your app, they will uh, notice a little lag uh, when they go to it. But after that, there's no um, no indication of anything special, you know, because sometimes with free stuff, it can be a little wonky, etc. Not so much. But yeah, it does have um, another price point, which is for hobbyists. I'll kind of go to that point. So yeah, and then there's the hobby, which is also, um, it also goes to sleep. Then after that, it just depends on your usability. Um, <coughs> other things you can do, besides just using it for the, uh, through the command line, you can also use it through, um, through uh, Eclipse and uh, IntelliJ. <coughs> by using a Maven plugin. Um, I set that up as well, and it wasn't, again, overly complicated. The directions were very cut and dry. They were very direct and uh, very clear, which, again, I appreciate greatly. I really do enjoy Heroku, mostly, again, because it is free. When I was looking for options uh, beforehand, there just wasn't any out there. And again, when I started to look at how to set them up, oh, it was so overwhelming and just there were so many configurations and so many steps and it was just really as a new person it was just a lot to take on uh some things that i've i found out that people were using it for was uh, one person was using it uh, as a they had like five twitter bots that were using um <coughs> the free option because it only had to go they only had to come alive like once an hour to shoot out twit tweets 
um, which is, I thought that was pretty clever. <laughs> and I actually, uh, I did create a little like five point uh, introductory thing and it was a, just a ton of links. So if you guys are really curious, I'll post that out there. Um, and one of the links is how the guy uh, created the Twitter bots and is doing all that with Heroku. So, um, <coughs> so yeah, because my nerves are kind of overwhelming and I do apologize, I'm gonna go ahead and cut it off. But I do hope that you do check out Heroku and just play around with it because again, it's super easy. It's super um, beneficial. And if you know someone that's like new and wants to show off like demo their stuff and stuff like that, this is like perfect for that. So thank you. Thank you. <laughs>